Earlier this summer, Salem issued a drinking water advisory. Water from Detroit Reservoir flows through the Saniam River before reaching our drinking water treatment facility, where it is filtered before arriving to your homes and businesses. Today, we'd like to give you a tour of what that looks like. We'll start at Salem's drinking water treatment facility, which relies on nature and gravity, and introduce you to a new step in our water treatment that uses powdered activated carbon to remove cyanotoxins from your drinking water. For more, we turn to Brian Martin, Salem's engineer. Today we're at our Garen Island water treatment facility. This is where we take water out of the North Saniam River and bring it into our water treatment plant so that we can supply Salem residents uh, with safe potable drinking water. What we'd like to discuss today is our uh, powdered activated carbon pretreatment system. This is something we implemented in June and July to address the algal toxins that were found in our drinking water source. Off to my left is a uh, powdered activated carbon eductor, which is a system for taking powdered activated carbon, mixing it with water uh, to form a slurry so that we can inject it into uh, our water system. To my right is our intake channel. So this is raw water coming in from the North Saniam River. Uh, as it flows through this uh, channel, it gets into our uh, water filtration system. As part of the pretreatment process with this powdered activated carbon, we're injecting it through hoses that feed into those mixers down in the water. Those mixers uh, mix the powdered activated carbon with our drinking water source. And uh, the carbon mixes, it stays in the water. We mix it as it goes downstream so that the carbon can stay in contact with the water and absorb algal toxins. So what we're looking at here is our intake channel as it continues downstream in our plant. You will notice uh, more of the mixing devices that are floating in the channel. Those are continuing to mix that powder activated carbon uh, with the water to keep it in suspension so that we can maximize the amount of toxins we can remove from the water. The channel is approximately a quarter mile long uh, before it gets to our settling zone. We are now at the, the next step in the powdered activated carbon treatment process, which is adding alum to the system so that we can get the carbon to start settling out of the water and remove it before it gets into our, our slow sand filter system. Off to my left here is actually the pumps in the alum system where the alum is injected into the water. Off to my right is actually the settling area. So as that powdered activated carbon mixes with the alum, we try to get it to settle out in our south channel. We also add polymer in that area. The polymer takes the small alum and carbon pieces and sticks them together into longer strings, heavier for better settlement. We're actually not using powder activated carbon today because the toxin levels are so low in the, in, the, uh, in the river that it's not needed. However, we have it available to use at any point in time. We test daily as, uh, if, as, the, as the levels increase. Uh, we simply go and turn on our process if we can start adding powdered activated carbon uh, within 15 minutes. Before we started using powdered activated carbon on our real filters, uh, we did a number of tests. We tested in Boise, Idaho in a lab running uh, water with toxins in it through a lab process. This building is our, I would call it our larger laboratory where we tested uh, the powdered activated carbon and uh, settling times and adding uh, alum and, and the different components where once we added the powdered activated carbon and alum to get the carbon to settle, the water then passes through this test filter to determine how well the sand filter works with the new water after the pretreatment process. We're standing next to our roughing filter right now, which is the, the next step after the pack is settled out of the water. Uh, we don't get 100% settlement, so there always is a little bit of it left over. So that water passes into our roughing filter, which really is a filter that takes out the pack, if we do not have the powder activated carbon in the water, would take out sediments. Uh, so really when you see water in a river and it's very cloudy, it has a high turbidity. That means there's a lot of sediments in the water. This roughing filter is used to take those sediments out so the water is much clearer and cleaner when it gets to our slow sand filters. So the roughing filter has a different job than our slow sand filters. This takes the turbidity, the sediments out of the water. The slow sand filters actually take the bacteria and other bad things out of the water. The slow sand filters have over two feet of sand and included in that sand is our schmutzduck layer, which is our bio layer. That biology in that layer has actually got the, we call them good bugs, that actually eat the bacteria and the bad bugs, the toxins, out of the finished water before it enters our piping system where we treat it with chlorine and soda ash before it leaves the island 
and enters the Salem water distribution system. This is one of the locations on the island where we're storing uh, the powder activated carbon. Each one of these uh, bags, which is called a super sacks, has about 600 pounds of powder activated carbon in it. Uh, depending on the toxin levels in the river and our need to use it, we could use up to uh, 10 to 15 of these large sacks a day. Of course, the toxin levels are low today, so we're not using any of it, so the range would be somewhere between uh, none to 15 of these sacks a day. You can learn more about what we're doing to make sure Salem's drinking water is safe to drink for everyone. We have step-by-step -step information on our water testing program and pre-treatment with powdered activated carbon.